Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I'm I'm back after a little, little bit of time away. Um, just haven't uh, haven't had time to you know I guess I guess uh, quiet time to try to make a video. Um, plus, we just uh, went through a small hurricane. So, uh, but anyway, I'm back, and uh, today I'm gonna try to uh, do a gameplay video, Steam Deck gameplay video of uh, an older game called The Quest. So uh, again, this is uh, this is the quest. This is an older game. Uh, it, according to Steam uh, or according to Valve, as of right now, uh, the status is unknown uh, for the game. Uh, this is from 2015. Uh, developer and publisher is Redshift. So again, this is unknown. Uh, I think it is playable um, from what I've seen so far, and uh, you know perhaps even verified. But I guess I guess we'll see. Um, and this may also be a game where you might have to uh, program the controls uh, to your satisfaction, to, to your, I guess, to your uh, to your preference. Um, but uh, let's uh, let's just take a look. So again, the quest, 2015. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, uh, I, I do prefer uh, turn-based uh, games, older games. Um, and uh, I'm also, I think I've mentioned this in other videos. I'm primarily focusing on games that are unknown uh, or, um, or I guess, not verified. So, uh, you know, because if, if it says it's verified, then, you know, it should play. And I'm sure there's other people who have already done it. Uh, so, all right. So, in the beginning, um, you do have a variety of settings. Um, and you can use the, uh, the, the, um, the D-pad. For uh, some movement on some uh, some windows or some men menus, and uh, or you are going to do your your uh, right trackpad for moving the in-game pointer mouse, the right trigger to select. Uh, so you know I'm just going to leave it on full screen. Uh, we have audio. Uh, so this is all the controls here. So this is why I say that. You, I, I, I doubt that all these are mapped uh, already. Um, from what I've seen, they don't have to be, but it may make it easier than uh, using your your mouse pointer in the game to do some of these things. So I already know that the movement uh, forward, back, left, and or I should say turn left and right is there. That's good. Um, but some of these other ones like use, uh, attack, cast spell, drink potion, inventory. Uh, right now, I know you can click on them in the game. Uh, I, I, you, you might want to actually program the controller to do exactly. But this makes it easy because you can just take a look at this, um, see what the controls are supposed to be, and then that makes you makes it so much easier to uh, to configure your controller. Uh, there's a variety of options you can set, so I'm not really going to go through all these, but there is there's a variety of options that you can set. Uh, I'm, there's a manual that you can go to, which is great. I love manuals. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start a new game. I think I had a game going for uh, when I tested this on the One X player um, handheld. So we're just gonna slip through that. Don't really care about the opening. We don't need the story. Okay. So now I got my new player. So uh, name is player. So the nice thing here is is that. Again, you know, when you use the Steam X button for the on-screen keyboard, um, I've been getting a lot of use out of that. For I've, I've been playing Wizardry Six, requires a lot of uh, Steam Xing, uh, but you know, this one has a rename option. So, so you well, actually, it's still going to require you to uh, to plug it in. That's unfortunate. But anyway, let's find out. Uh, so there we go, and let's backspace. Yep, there we go, and we'll put. Uh, Let's see. We'll just put zombie kids in here. Still getting used to this uh, zombie kids. That's good. Okay, so uh, the uh, st the Steam uh, X button pulling up the keyboard does work. Uh, gender, male and female. Just leave it male. Race. So you do have a variety of races that you can pick from in here. Um, the uh, I'd, you'd have to go through and see which one you know you prefer. There's uh, there's Ras Vim, which is uh, is an undead. Uh, Etherim, uh, Sieri, Durth, 
no gur or no gore or whatever. So you just basically pick uh, whichever one um, you know is your preference. I do know I've tried undead before, and and uh, I, I think some people in the game don't like you, but. Uh, regardless, so um, this is one of those ones where I'd look at the ma manual to figure out uh, what uh, what might know about things. But I'm just going to pick one of these here, this e Etherum, and then you can change your face. So there, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's there's a variety of faces that you can pick from. They're they're actually pretty cool. I uh, kind of like them, so I'm just going to go back here to the skeleton. Well, kind of a skeleton-looking person. I don't care. I like that. Um, skills. Select a predefined class and or modify the primary skills. So uh, right now, this kind of reminds me of like uh, Morrowind. Um, right, right now it says light weapon, light armor, block, healing magic, uh, praise, repair. If I select, if I click select, I can pull uh, select from classes like fighter and then it gives me predefined primary uh, skills and if I hover over them it's pulling up a window that or that's telling me what it is uh, then I can go to thief which again uh, pre predetermined primary skills mage battle mage ranger and priest so those are your choices uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick uh, thief why not and then click OK and so again, we have your uh, your skills. Uh, I wonder what happens if I click on one. Oh yeah, so look at that. So you could, in theory, um, change change the skills that you wanted uh, instead of going with class. So very very similar to Morrowind. Um, again, other games probably do it too, but that's just one of the games I remember. Uh, Morrowind, where you can either select a class or you can uh, you know choose of your your skills. So and that's pretty much it. So again, if you click here, there's, oh my goodness, there's a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it looks like there's about 20 skills that you can that you can choose from. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and start. As you arrive, a village man is waiting for you. And so here we go. So you have your dialogue. You can read it. Then you have your choices over here. Uh, why are you here? About the village. About the governor. Hail to Mersant. Whatever. Uh, I have a new quest, so I'm just going to click on a few of these things, see if it, see if I learn anything. Uh, in theory, I would read this, but I'm really just interested in the um, uh, in the gameplay. So now I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, okay, so he took off. So um, I know that with the D-pad, you can turn. So uh, so right is turn right, left is turn left. Uh, up is move forward, back uh, down is move backwards. Uh, looks like you can also use the uh, left um, joystick, and so that that's a little that's that's interesting as far as uh, uh, the way it moves. Um, honestly, I would probably I would probably choose the D-pad just because that's I like to have more control, but that's how I would do that. Uh, let's see. So then you can uh, again over here. Uh, this is where you can manually select these things that would otherwise be programmed to specific buttons. So you can look at your inventory. Uh, shows you all your all your stuff. Uh, you have your little you know body over here where you can you know put your uh, put your equipment. That's how you uh, equip your stuff. Uh, there's a drop. There's an equip. Um, let's see. Uh, show all items, and you looks like you can sort by different things. Um, and then you have your character. So again, uh, gives you your information: damage, armor, health, mana, crime, race level, experience, fame, um, uh, your outfit, what you're wearing. It, it gives you your attributes: so strength, dexterity, endurance, intelligence, personality. There's no points, so that's how you. I'm sure you get points when you level up. Resistances, magic, poison, paralysis, disease. Uh, then you have your quests, so you can read about your quests. You have uh, whether or not you have spells, which this character started off with a healing spell of uh, cure light wounds, and they shouldn't have anything else because they're not a spellcaster. But there's a whole bunch of spells. So, uh, so you have scrolls, you have wands. Uh, environmental spells, undead, mind spells, attack spells, protection spells, and healing spells. Uh, and then, of course, return to game. 
Uh, so let's see. There's your your health bar. I have 80 of 80. There's my mana bar, 75 of 75. Uh, here's your attack. So you have two uh, different um, uh, two different weapon sets, I guess. So set, weapon set one looks like a bow for now. Weapon set two looks like it's bare hands. Uh, if I click on this, it should be an attack. Okay. So uh, so again, you could program a key. So we'll figure if there's already pre-programmed. Cast spell, right? So if I click on that, I'll cast a spell. I'm pretty sure. Uh, just go ahead, and yep, it pulls up my spell menu, so I can decide which one I want to do, and then I either um, click on it to cast or exit out. So again, in combat, this is real time combat, so it's not turn based, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because I remember because the last time I got killed uh, trying to figure out what to do. Um, so maybe having uh, buttons to do certain things might be more beneficial. There's a drink potion. There's a rest, uh, and then of course you could use these arrows down here with the with the mouse. But you know why would you do that when you can use the the D pad or the left trigger uh, or the yeah the uh, I'm sorry the left uh, joystick. So okay, so you could move your mouse with the right joystick too, but that's way more clunky than the quick trackpad. That's that's the one thing I love about the Steam Deck. Um, the One X player, you use the the joystick most of the time to move your in-game pointer, and and that's much more difficult to control than the trackpad. I love the trackpad. So let's see what Y does. Y doesn't do. Y doesn't seem to do anything. Um, so X pulls up your your uh, inventory menu. B <laughs> turns right, which a lot of games for some reason have B and B alone turning in, in the right direction, but no left. So that's kind of funny. But again, you, you've got it already pre-mapped with your D-pad, so that B could be remapped to anything you want. A doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, there we go. Pull up the menu with that. That doesn't do anything. Let's see. Uh, right trigger. So right trigger doesn't do anything. Left trigger pulls up your, your inventory menu again. Uh, the the buttons don't do anything. The back buttons don't do anything. So you could easily, if, if we were to go back to, um, well, we don't have to go back to the main menu. But uh, as I recall, like uh, C, it, and it actually gives you the hint. When I hover over cast, it says that C is for casting. Um, left shift is for attacking. D uh, looks like maybe that's a D or a V for drinking potion. Uh, I'd, I'd have to double check. Uh, so there's no reason that you couldn't just go into, let's say, for instance, casting. Uh, I don't think the trigger does anything. So if I were to just pull up the controller settings and go to controller settings, I'm going to edit layout. Uh, and so it's you know it's telling me my A, A, B, X, and Y. It's telling me which keys they're mapped to already. Um, so that's you know that's why it's behaving the way it is. Uh, bumpers uh, are set to scroll wheel down, scroll wheel up. Uh, you know so again if if that doesn't really do anything in the game, that is not going to do anything. Uh, D pad is set to up arrow, left arrow, right arrow, down arrow. Your triggers. Um, yeah, it looks like they have it set up as full pull and soft pull, which, again, I'm not really good at that. I'm not a controller person, so I'd have to change that. Uh, your joysticks, your trackpads. Um, so, yeah, you could easily, uh, for instance, uh, you know, I'd have to go back and look at what uh, space key does. So the A is the space key, for instance. So um, I'm just going to go back and look at what the space key does for a second. So we're going to put settings and controls. So space, oh, space is use. Okay, so if I want to use something, so perhaps that might be, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look at that. So A, probably do want to keep A. B is not necessary at all because B is, um, that's turning, uh, which we already saw. So what I would do is I would say, like, I want my, my spell cast to be B. So I'm just going to go back to the game. I'm going to continue my game, and I'm going to go to my uh, controller setup again, and I'm going to go to Edit Layout, and I'm going to go over to the B, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that to 
um, if I remember correctly, it doesn't rename correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go remove command. So now it's gone. Then I'm going to um, add the command. And I said I wanted to do C. So I'm just going to scroll down to C, which because I'm already on keyboard, I click C. So now B is the C button. And I'm going to go back. And now when I'm here, if I click click B, it should pull up my spell menu, which it does. Perfect. Awesome. And it goes away. Oh, whoops, I cast it. Oh, so B twice casts because it's already highlighted. So when I click B, they only, they only have one spell, and that's already highlighted. So when I click B again, it's going to cast it instead of just backing out. So so uh, that's cool. But, yeah, so this is really easy. Um, you can obviously program uh, the or configure the, um, the controller as, as you see fit. Um, let's talk to this lady. So I wonder if I click on her or click A for space. Yeah, so A is that use button. So I guess that activates uh, um, uh, dialogue, for instance, if you're if you're in front of somebody. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can delight your eye, soothe your trouble, and cover you with a rain of kisses, sweet one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Brenna the Streetwalker. There we go. I can't afford much more than a peek now. <laughs> Just lift <laughs> or another option. Just lift your petticoats a bit, will you? Hmm. <laughs> That's not. That doesn't seem very pleasant. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't afford more than a peek now. And uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. That was. Uh, yeah, that was one way to talk to her. But then uh, about the sickness, about smuggling, so you can talk to her about different things. And we're just going to say goodbye. So anyway, that's that's the um, dialogue. Now, if I were to click on her, it's the same thing. So I can either um, hover over her. Uh, would you like to kiss? Would you like to kiss a hero? Just look at yourself, working girl. You're you're wrung out like the rags on you. Oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> what great dialogue! Um, so you could hover over the the NPC and and trigger. Or you could just select A for um, use, which basically is is uh, is activating them. Uh, and yeah, and then again, you can turn here, and so you've got your little mini map up here. It gives you your compass. So I mean, as far as as far as I'm concerned, uh, mm -hmm. I mean this this looks perfectly playable. Um, I'll go out here, and uh, you know I'll probably get into combat and get killed, but. Uh, let's see, because combat, if I recall, is um, is uh, real time, so it's not like it. Um, oh, I just walked right through somebody. Let's do it again. Rah! Walk right through. Them. Uh, <laughs> so you you know obviously you're supposed to explore um, in the uh, you're supposed to explore in the town first before you get into something. Um, I'll get in here, and I'm sure there'll be a uh, there'll be a fight coming up here somewhere. Last time I walked out here and uh, I got attacked and I died pretty quickly. So, oh, here we go. Let's see. I think I saw somebody. Oh, yeah, there's a guy. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Ah! Oh, you can't run. Oh, yeah, because there's a uh, uh, oh, it, this does seem sort of turn-based. They're chasing me. Ah, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely turn-based. So, um, interesting. I'm going to die. Yep. Oh, I killed one of them. You know what? Let's uh, heal myself. Whoops. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. So it is turn-based. Well, that's good. Well, I'm not going to die as bad as I thought it was. She's almost dead. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I actually won. Uh, so uh, let's see. So the coins, if I move them, they're just moving around. So this A must be to pick them up, maybe? Uh, let's see. Dozens of coins. And... Okay, does that, yep, yeah, pick up item with the arrow, okay, and then exit, uh, whoops, exit there, there must be probably another exit, so A, inventory, your items, ground, um, you know what, I'm going to click on it, there we go, 
So that's interesting. So uh, that would take a little bit of uh, you know messing around, whether you're clicking on something in the game or uh, or um, you know you being able to use the A button. Um, you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Uh, I, they already went after me. So okay. So that's pretty much it. And again, um, so it is turn-based. So I, I was thinking uh, I could run away from them, but apparently no. It it, it is turn-based once you get. Uh, once you get going, which which is kind of cool, because um, I, I do like turn-based games, but it's also somewhat bad if you're not prepared and then, you know, get your butt kicked. Uh, so, as far as I can tell, I mean, this looks like it's at the very least playable. Um, may or may not be verified, I don't know. Uh, they may consider that Steam X thing uh, for the for the on-screen keyboard to data enter things. Maybe Maybe that's something, I don't know. Uh, but it does look like you can configure the controller pretty easy, um, and that may be something else too. The, all the uh, key, all of the keyboard commands are not mapped to uh, buttons, so you know not by default. So you know that may make it just playable instead of verified. Uh, but but it's easy. I mean, you can easily program the uh, the controller. So no worries there. Uh, so yeah, I, I I would say this is um, this is playable on the Steam Deck. Um, you know, I, it's one of those games I got to get got to get to and, and play. Uh, I started up and and then I just kind of um, you know I think the only times I've been doing it is is like with demo videos for the One X player and stuff. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and exit here. And are you sure when to exit the active game will be saved? Sure. Uh, guess there's only one one play option or one save option. And that's pretty much it for the quest. Um, gonna go ahead and put that to sleep. So uh, again, looks like it's uh, playable. And uh, you know, I hope um, I, I I hope these videos are helpful. You know, I'm glad you found the channel. Uh, you know, if these videos are helpful, please like, subscribe, get notifications, leave comments. Uh, you know, I love I love getting comments. If there's uh, if you have questions, go ahead and ask. I'm not a technical person. If you've watched some of my other, some of my other videos. Um, so I'm not the best person to ask about technical stuff, but uh, you know if you do have questions about just the Steam Deck in general, uh, or you know if you if you've got a Steam Deck and and uh, you know feel free to leave comments about how you like it. Uh, if there's games you think I might like, you know hey let me know. Uh, and uh, again I'm just going through checking my library for uh, unknown or unverified games. Uh, to see if they work on the Steam Deck, um, because of what I've heard and what I've experienced is is that um, a lot of them do, even though they they haven't been verified or uh, Valve hasn't checked them, or even if you know they say, oh, it's it's uh, it's um, you know it's basically not supported, and it's like, yeah, well, actually, it does work pretty good. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, again, I'll try to get more videos up, um, you know, I, as I have time uh, and uh, have quiet space. Pretty much is the is the big problem is making sure I have quiet uh, to to go be, be able to record the video, and, and hopefully someday we'll be able to record better, um, like OBS recording the screen itself and not recording uh, just holding the the Steam Deck, uh, you know, like and recording from external. So uh, hopefully there'll be a they'll develop something to make it uh, easier to capture um, the gameplay without some sort of additional equipment because I don't have any equipment and I'm not going to buy it uh, just for, for these purposes. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot, folks. I hope you have a great day um, and uh, I'll get some more videos up as soon as I can. And uh, so, uh, you know, again, happy, happy gaming and uh, we'll see everybody later. Have a great day. Bye.